Let's see how big we can imagine it. Sometimes we do experiments inside. Sometimes our moms say, take it outside, boys. That's Come right. on, this one's too big. The chief scientist at the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, is here outside with something so big. What are we doing? We're going to talk about air pressure. OK. 14.7 pounds per square inch on our body all the time. Um, and what's interesting about it is if you can create a slight imbalance in air pressure, you can do some pretty amazing stuff. OK, this is a container of liquid nitrogen. It's very, very cold, liquid nitrogen. If I put this uh, two liter bottle in there just for a few seconds, hopefully we can like cool the air inside a bit. It takes up less space. Yeah. And besides being very cold, the bottle now has sort of collapsed in on itself. Yeah. OK, because of those air molecules have condensed a bit. So I want to do this on a bigger scale with something uh, much more interesting, like this 55-gallon drum. Yes. OK. okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I've added a little bit of water inside this drum. And I've heated it up a little bit ahead of time, but I'm going to add a little bit extra heat because what I want to do is get the uh, air inside turned in and that water turned into water vapor, turned into steam, get it very, very hot. And I'm going to, it's going to be kind of noisy. Flame on. Maybe. Is this Carl's first rodeo? No, it's not. <laughs> I think I just have too much gas going in. Let me turn it down a bit. Same for me. <laughs> Just hold it. Oh, OK. OK, so we're going to try to cap this very quickly. Can put this down? You can put it down, yeah. In fact, there's a wrench on the table over there, yeah. Tony. If you could bring that over. There you go. Why do I feel like Marty McFly to your Doc Brown? Here you go, Doc. I don't know, man. <laughs> this little cap is not cooperating Gosh. here. OK. I don't want to strip it when we get it on there. You know what? Yeah. This is it's good. Cap lock, loaded. Cap is, is, there we go. We got it on. All right. Now, hopefully, we have enough of that hot air trapped inside there, because our next step is to take this barrel and to cool it quickly on that tray of ice over there, Tony. Right. So watch out for the liquid nitrogen. Let's pull that down. <laughs> we, may, we may have to resort to that to cool things down. Come on over here and pick it up, Tony. Okay. okay. And we're going to just put it right on the tray of ice. All right. Watch whoa, out. Hey, whoa, hey. Careful. All right. OK, put it on there. Now, Roll what we're hoping to hear are the ends popping in like a drum head. Go ahead and rotate it with rotate me. We're going to want to try to cool everything down as much as we can, as quickly as we can. Get that water vapor inside to condense back into liquid and to cool the air down inside. Now, we might be able to help this out a little bit, Tony, with that pitcher of water you have okay. there. So what you can do is we'll just like pour the water right on top. It's, it's going to be a little messy. I'm expecting some big things here. You never know. <laughs> it's part of science. It's the experimentation process. You never know. Trial and error. Oh, oh! There we go. <laughs> yeah. So, that right there, look at. We crushed the 55 gallon drum, or at least got it to crush a little bit, all because of a slight imbalance in air pressure. I'm slightly imbalanced myself. <laughs> all right, well, if you want to come on down to the Imagination Station, they are open today. And if you live in Lucas County, you have a kid who lives in Lucas County, that kid 12 and under gets in free with a paid adult admission. You yeah. never know, really, what's going to happen. You never, you never and, know. and even the scientist doesn't know. It's still crushing. That's how you imagine it. <laughs>